I was watching Troy again. I haven't seen that movie in a long time. And it piqued some interest and reminded me of a little theory I had about what ancient war strategies and well, I mean everything was built out of stone back then and for good reason because it lasted well you know, the Parthenon and I'll get into that in a minute and then the Temple of Zeus that there was a study done a student found that a picture was edited and there was a wall on top of the Temple of Zeus and so that just all reminded me and then you watch Troy when when Achilles lands on the beach he heads right for the temple of Apollo and I think there, there's a really good reason for that and it all goes into how Achilles and Ajax were playing a game called Patea and that game's been lost but I'm going to explain what I really think that game is and I think it, it, it pertains to war strategy of temples so a lot of a lot of fallback zones things like cult there were cultures that built caves and they would live in caves and they had giant stone wheels that they would block the entrances in and these were considered very passive people they, they were not warriors they were this is how they would just they would hide in there until hopefully the enemy went away or something because they could never get it well looking at that and the old war strategies before projectiles before uh, catapults and tr treasure treasure why can I not remember that word today alright whatever the, the sling version it's basically modeled after a sling and sorry I know that word <laughs> anyway I made a 15 minute video I'm gonna make this shorter this is not that hard to explain Okay, so the, the ancient strategies back then for war and how weapons developed. They always, we give one man the ability to fight many men. With guns, with bows, with spears and shields. And so you look at all these old temples in Greek, Greece, Greek history, there you go. In, in Greece, right? So they, they, they're all structured very similarly. They're very strong. Imagine imagine being back then and you have to tear these... You want to try to tear these things down because people are in there. And I'm sure there were temples to worship the gods. However, I think there's a twist on this. That they were a fallback zone. And just like that board game, which is like a last resort sort of strategic emphasis that if they in the movie as well they have their best soldiers fight and that's to assume that then that whoever the best soldier is that wins wins the war ultimately well this would be the same sort of concept based on these these temples that if you made it there then they fall back to these temples and the temples are built in such a way that all these pure pyramid or pillars are gridded out and so with the size of a shield, you could hold the spaces in between. And if you have, I drew out just a simple grid. So if you look, the X's are just, you know, originally you had five by five, say, and then you lose that many men. Well, the pillars take their place and it's fortifiable. And so then you have this grid network, all the spacing lines that you can run strategies through and shapes of formations of warriors and soldiers that restrict and fall back and you're falling back and you're falling say like the temple of zeus you're falling back and that would boost your morale like zeus is there zeus is he is uh 
defending you because of whatever reason or another, I don't know, I'm not monotheistic. So. But <laughs> looking at that picture, the edited one of the Temple of Zeus had a wall on top. I don't know. Well, they originally had a curved roof. You could have a room in there, and that's your main fallback. You're restricting, you know, you're having eight people stay in that grid that can fall back, move, and restrict the flow. And you look at the pictures at the specific angles, a lot of them would block arrows. The, the pillars and angles only allow for a certain uh, degree of potential to hit a soldier from behind or a spear or a javelin, whatever. Obviously, javelins were probably used before arrows, so. But you fall back, and then you restrict your, you know, the flow of enemies. And so, um, in the myth where Ajax and Achilles are playing a board game, I'm guessing that's the game they're playing, because that's the most fortifiable place with the most variable strategy you can encounter in ancient times to, to defend to the last man. And you're going to do that anyway. Because... I mean, what else are you going to do, right? Just going to run off. So you defend your temple. You go into the ceiling. And now only one person can get through this, this area, this whole... And a lot of those old structures were so large. They were all hollow cavities. And the, the original... One of the ancient wonders was this massive statue of Zeus. It was most likely hollow, and probably a way to get up inside it, to the to the top. Yeah, we don't have any accounts of any of this, sadly. But when you look at the Great Pyramid, what would be the most fortifiable thing in ancient war strategies, without projectile weaponry, without the ability to destroy things? I mean, think if you have something that takes tens of thousands, meant twenty years to build, and you got the pyramids. Looking at the the gallery, the main gallery, it's a huge slanted floor. And if there's a few people up there, everybody's gonna have to go single file. And they're fighting up this huge slant. And you you know, you kill up to two men and they roll back down. And they're working, you know, the men that lose are working against the invading army. So I think that's pretty much everything. Got it about half as long. Because I, I don't know, I got interested in that game. <laughs> I like those, I like that, that, that sort of strategy more than modern warfare. It's, modern warfare is lame compared. So it's like, how do you get back to that war fundamental? Mm -hmm. Of all the places that you could defend, I would choose Parthenon. And why is that? Because it's all uphill. It's huge. Massive. And then you you have all these variables of formations with the last, you know, with your men. Say you fight till a certain part. Fall back to the Parthenon. Zeus will defend us. <laughs> so you go there. You got countless formations that, it, that this game was designed around. Just like modern games are designed around warfare. Like Go was one. That was an ancient one. Uh, chess, obviously. And just ways to formulate these strategies. It's not even a game, really. It's just two great warriors running the variables. And they, they, they're greater than all the others. They, you know, nobody else can keep up. It's like playing chess against uh, well, I can't think of his name anyway lots of brain parts today I got a headache think about it <laughs>